today I wanted to share with you a comparison of all my card holders slash uh, comparing it with my wallet. Give you guys ideas on how much they can fit and what sort of occasion I like to use them on. So let's talk about two of my staples. These two go into all of my bags without exception, except when I don't actually need my keys, which is kind of rare, but sometimes uh, when I do go out with my husband and I try not to bring my keys so that my bag is a bit lighter. But uh, in general, these two always, always, always follow me. And I love these two items because they're so thin and they're so compact uh, they pretty much fit in all of my bags with no exceptions and uh, they're just so hard wearing i highly recommend these two items uh, especially this one but you'd be surprised at how much i love my card case and i never thought that a slim card holder like this would be useful for me because for the longest time i try to just like ignore having to buy one like this because i thought like how many cards can you actually put in it and to be honest, there's not that many, but really how many cards do you actually need? Especially if you're a person like me who doesn't tend to use cash. Uh, I don't even carry coins or cash with me most of the time, I just rely on cards. So in those cases, if you're like me, then this is such a perfect and great item to have. I highly recommend these two. Even though this is not a card holder, I do put a couple cards underneath here. Now I only have two cards at the moment, which is good because it doesn't stretch it out too much. As you will notice that this part here, it will kind of uh, curve out a little bit if you do put more and if you do keep them in the long term inside. I would say the maximum number of cards that you want to put on this is maybe four or five cards and that's really stretching it. We're gonna go by order of what fits the least to the most. So with this one, uh, obviously being the thinnest, um, I like to put only one card on each side. I know you can double it up, but I find it difficult to take out cards when I double it up, especially if you also put a lot of cards in the middle. So I do like to put my main credit cards in each uh, side and only one card. I just I find it easy to sort of like push it out and in the middle though you can put more uh, at the moment i only have one two three but i tend to always put four cards in the middle and if i do have cash i can definitely submit in here essentially this one will fit one card on each side and um i would say at a comfortable level i would say maybe five uh cards five to six cards in the middle so i would say maybe eight cards for this one of course you can put more if you like but that's just my sort of preferred way of using my items without damaging them and also without stretching them so much that they will sort of wear and tear faster next i do want to talk about this little card holder from chanel this is from the cruise 2017 collection this is the boy caviar with aged gold hardware i never thought that i would find one that i love so much because this caviar leather seems to be a little bit more on the flexible side it is a little bit more buttery and uh, definitely a softer caviar whenever they had the one with the shinier leather i did try that one i do feel that they are stiffer and perhaps did not fit as many cards as this one so as you can see right now i have all these cards i know that i can fit a few more but i feel very comfortable putting this amount and still be able to close it so that this uh, gusset part here lies flat and nice and straight. Uh, what I tend to do is maybe I just grab half of the cards and I kind of push in the gusset in between the cards and then close it. This is probably the max I will put uh, in terms of cards in this one and I'll just show you how bulky it looks. It's not too bad actually, it just uh, the flap here just bulges out a little bit uh so this is probably the most i still try to make it as flat as possible the inside to tuck it in but as you can see it does kind of come out a little bit so this would probably be the max that i would comfortably use this one and just to show you what i have so in the very front compartment i do have one card one plastic card and down inside i have all these there's quite a few cards in there uh that's not all the cards that i have in my large full-size wallet but it's most of them so there's 12 of these plastic cards in the middle compartment plus three of these uh paper cards which are you know business card uh dimensions and thickness uh so plus the one in front and whatever tickets or receipt that you may have folded up so it does fit quite a lot so with all with the stuff in front i would have 13 of those plastic cards 
plus you can probably put more more or less um, of the paper cards you may wonder between these two which one I actually prefer using um, honestly I prefer using this one because this one just fits in all my bags uh, the only exception is that sometimes if I need more than the five cards that I have inside uh, then this comes in really handy because this one functions as a tinier wallet so not quite as much as my zippy one that I will show you next uh, but it will definitely accommodate double the amount that this does very comfortably uh, plus it can also hold coins because it does have a flap closure so we're down to these two pieces here I love using this one as you guys have heard me talk about this hundreds of times because uh, this pretty much holds everything that was in this wallet and because of this reason I haven't even used my full-size wallet in a long long time and it's not that I don't love it anymore I just find that I love to be able to just downsize to any bags at any moment without having to transfer all my cards so basically once i got these two items i stopped using my larger wallet because these two are just so easy to downsize and put it in my any of my bags and when i don't actually need all the rest of my cards i was just really using this one most of the time i would say like over 50 percent of the time i was just using this one and my keys and that was it and whenever i needed to go to like my doctor's appointment so if i needed my insurance cards and whatnot or if i was traveling then i would also bring this one with me by the way this one is the gucci um card case if i if you guys don't know uh so this is the one that i always talk about it has three gusseted compartments this particular one is full leather it's so durable the leather is so beautiful on this that uh, my husband when he saw me buy this he wanted it and I bought him one as well so we do have a matching one but now I'm kind of like I kind of feel like I don't want to match him anymore and I want to get a canvas one but regardless I do love this one because it really does fit everything and these three compartments even though you know size wise they look kind of similar but this one because it is a flap closure uh, if you put too much it bulges out too much like it becomes too thick at the top it won't close as nicely anymore or it may just not close comfortably so this one definitely fits less still and like I said it fit about 13 plastic cards plus a few of the um, of the paper cards whereas this one comfortably fits all 13 cards and more so just to show you how big the compartment is I have all my 13 cards and my um, business cards here in in just one compartment and it will still close I know I have nothing here right now but you can still put stuff in here and it will close and that's the beauty of it this one also accommodates cash just fold it once I mean bills so you can uh, definitely have a stack of bills uh, fold it once as long as it's not so thick uh, so if you have like maybe 10 bills you can probably do you can probably fit it in the middle and then here you can put coins or whatever it really is such a spacious and such a great little compact wallet this can be easily used for traveling and fit into any of the bags and you can throw it around because the leather is really really good it looks brand new it doesn't even have any wear at all and I have not really babied it. I mean, I'm careful, but I haven't really babied it. It looks like the day I bought it, except that it has loosened up a little bit. My last very wallet, this is my only full-size wallet uh, from uh, LV. This is the Emily wallet, and I love it. This is my favorite style of wallet because it is a flap style. I tend to favor flap uh, closures snap closures as opposed to zipper closures the only exception I'm making for this one is because it is a really great size and I do want to point out that the cards they don't necessarily touch the gussets like you don't have to tuck your gussets in a, in a particular way to close it they just fit right in in the middle and it's fine so I do love this one very much because of this reason uh, and as a result I haven't really been using this wallet but I do still love this wallet and I do recommend this style of wallet especially nowadays I feel like with the world being more digitized and technology advancing so fast there's really no need to carry cash anymore maybe except when you're traveling and also in certain special circumstances but most of the time I'm using cards if you're a person that needs to carry checks cash and uh, have lots of receipt or paperwork this one works wonder it has so many compartments 
I have a full review on this wallet so you can check it out and I will try to link it below as well but uh, this is definitely one of their best wallets in my opinion because it's still really spacious but still really thin and you'll notice that I like my things to be not only practical and useful but I like it to be compact enough to fit in most bags and not too heavy so that's my preference so i hope that you guys found this review and comparison video helpful i definitely feel that um my wallet collection is more than enough i tend to not like to switch out of any wallets if i can actually just live with these two i would not even buy all the other ones because i just want to be able to like grab these ones and go whenever i need to change bags or whatever but the reality is sometimes you do need a little bit more space and depending on you know if you wanted to just feel a little bit special or grab yourself a nice nice wallet or if you're just trying to be practical then you can grab one of these and these are really great very durable throw it around great for traveling um, so it really depends on your needs and depends on how you like to use your item but my two best favorites are definitely these two followed by the Gucci one for practicality and the Chanel one is just nice because it's really beautiful so that's it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it this is Amy thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you again very soon bye